goodness. Okay, there we go. Take you out. Beautiful. Okay, our scythe is pretty useful. And no! I got you go. How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our Master Mode Healer playthrough. And as you can see, guys, we are... Oh my gosh, I'm getting slammed. We are straight into the action today, taking on Skeletron. And oh my gosh, there is enemies everywhere. This is out of control. But hey, it's going to be fine, I think. We just need to get into the battle, and everything will be fine, I hope. Oh my gosh, there's enemies everywhere. Get out of here. But I do have some of my awesome sentry things now, which should hopefully help out a bit. But guys, I am super pumped for today's... Oh, that's right. I can throw my side too. I'm so pumped for today's episode, guys. We've got a lot to do, and we're going to try and get our hands on the ultimate pre-hard mode scythe, which should be really, really useful for us. Uh, it's an upgrade to all the size I've been collecting. It's kind of like the Knight's Edge, which is going to be pretty sweet indeed. Let's see if I can whack this with the flail. Oh, gosh. I have found Healer is struggling a bit with melee options. I've got my scythe, and then I've got this flail thing. But uh, it seems, yeah, a lot of magic and summon stuff. So also, I noticed I have to watch out for uh, the Traveling Merchant sells a really cool sentry thing. Um, so I have to, like, watch out for him as well. Hopefully we can get that today. Oh my gosh. But yeah, we're going to be doing that, guys. We've got some biomes to explore. All that good stuff. So it's going to be awesome. But it all starts with taking on this boss and uh, seeing if we can get into the dungeon. Because there is uh, a really good weapon I want to get my hands on. That is available. Also, I need a shadow key because in the underworld, there is an awesome looking weapon for healers that I need to get. And I'm just trying to take out these hands. My gosh, they're so tanky. Ooh, I wonder if I should get a shark tooth necklace for a bit of damage reduction. That might be a good idea. Okay, let's get our... Um, where's my bloom guard? This is actually quite useful. Uh, the little spores give you extra defense and healing regen. So it's pretty nice if you can run into the things. There we go. Okay, the hands are down, people. The hands are down. Now we just need to focus on the head. There we go. Ah, beautiful. This magic weapon is actually pretty nice with this. Check it out. It's doing some pretty sweet damage. And I did get a DPS meter from the Traveling Merchant. So that's kind of cool. So we can see a bit of healer damage now, which is pretty sweet indeed. All right, there we go. Let's see if I can land this. I think if I use the fish weapon, I actually get healed when I deal damage. Yeah, you can see the little green numbers appearing on my head. That is pretty sweet. Uh, and definitely worth just landing it as a debuff. Okay, people, we're getting into a nice rhythm here. So I'm using my long range weapons when it's flying around like crazy chicken. And then I sort of let it come in close and use my scythe when it zooms in like that. And then I can like throw, oh, no, don't get killed, Happy. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. We got it. Woo -hoo! Oh my gosh. Oh, that's right. The marble and um, granite biomes change as well. Okay, we got a new thing. Oh, I got some club weapon off a uh, crimson. The crimson's right next door. Yeah, there you are, you silly crimson enemies. And we got a treasure bag. Are you ready? Three, two, one, boom. Okay, we got a Skeletron Mask and the Bone Gloves. Uh, I don't think I'll use that. It is a bit of extra damage, but I don't think it's very healery. I would probably use that more for, like, throwing class, I think. But uh, we need to get into the dungeon now, people, so let's zoom ahead. Okay, people, we're making our way down in... Oh, my gosh, what is that thing? A giant cube? Holy moly. Wow, it's kind of tanky. All right, let's... Oh, it's getting smaller as I kill it. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, gosh, and it drops jelly? Oh, what's it turn into? Oh, it turns into, like, vanity stuff. That's awesome. So, what is in the chest? Oh, strongest link? Oh, it's a summon thing. No way. I can't cast it. I don't have enough summon slots. That's kind of cool, though. And I do need to collect these spike things. Uh, I got a few on the way down. It makes a crafting item that I'm going to need for a few accessories and all that good stuff. Oh, is that a water bolt? Okay, I'll get... Do you know what? Even though... Oh, godly. Wow. I don't need it, but if I don't get it, people will be like, Happy, you missed a water bolt. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, let's... Oh, no, goodness. Okay. Oh, we found a pit. Oh, gosh. So, we've got another painting. Beautiful. Let's get a couple more spikes. I don't... I, don't, I probably don't need that much. Oh, my gosh. Oh, they're hurting me. Oh, goodness. It's another thing. Okay, okay. Let's just get up here to safety. Beautiful. Oh, Sharky statue. You never know if you're going to need a mob spawning trap um, for like... Oh, oh, ow, ow, ow. Sometimes you can make, like, farms with traps and stuff. So I always try and pick up mob spawning stuff in a playthrough. It can come in really handy. All right, there we go. Oh, we got some chests and... Oh, beautiful. Oh, is that a, is that a mimic? What is that thing? Oh, I, isn't that the town slime thing? Okay, we got another thing. Nimble high tide. Beautiful. I think that's a mage weapon. I'm taking a lot of damage. No, get away from me, crazy thing. Oh, goodness. 
Okay, there we go. Take you out. Beautiful. Okay, our scythe is pretty useful. And no! I got you! Oh my god, I got killed by a silly ball and chain. Oh my gosh, mechanic! No, I'll save you! Do I have a I can't even talk! What on earth did I just say? I was just like, la la! Oh goodness! Okay, no one panic. It's gonna be fine. Alright, so we got mechanic. She's throwing a party, even though she's got skeletons all around her. No, mechanic, I'm sorry, I tried to save you. Oh, the, the thing is, there's traps everywhere. Oh gosh, okay. No, I just want to open some treasure. Is that so hard, people? Alright, let's use some healing. Oh, let's put down our bloom thing. Okay, beautiful. Let's get some healing. Ah, lovely. I wonder, if, can someone let me know in the comments, is there stronger healing spells in hard mode? Because I would like some more healing. All right, let's just get... Okay, I can stand here. Beautiful. Let's get rid of the spikes. And let's see what's in here. Magic... Oh, shadow key. Did I find a shadow key yet? I don't even know. There's too much going on. All right, beautiful. No! Oh, goodness. Stop hitting that dart trap. Oh. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Let's just get in here. Beautiful. We got a bunny statue. And I'm out of keys. Okay, that's fine. Let's just keep moving. It's all under control, people. Oh, what's this? This is a big bone. Oh, my gosh. All right, there's another water bolt. I got it, people, in the comments. Okay, I got it. Oh, gosh. And I'm getting the water candles. I think these turn into... Oh, my gosh. It's shooting at me. I think I can turn the water candles into this spirit droplet, which I need. So that's kind of useful. So I'll pick up the extra ones uh, just in case because spirit droplets are what make this cool weapon I want to get. Uh, beautiful. Let's keep making our way down here. I need to find some more golden keys if possible. There we go. Lovely. Let's see what else is around. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. It's all fine. Uh, sometimes you can find... Oh, yes. Alchemy station. Definitely want to pick that up. Definitely need lots of potions. I'm probably going to have to uh, get some more buffs as well. I think there's actually a healer buff potion that increases your radiant damage. So that's pretty sweet indeed. I'm definitely going to need uh, so a bit of that, I think. I think it's like 10%. So it's pretty significant. So have I got any golden keys? Yes, I got one. All right, what's in this one? Oh, yes, I found the scythe. I found it. Woo! Okay, we. I think we only need one more scythe now to make like the, the Knight's Edge scythe. I think it's called Blood Harvest or something. So that's pretty sweet. All right, let's get rid of you. Oh, goodness, there's stuff everywhere. No, don't fall into pit, Happy. It's going to be fine. Go to the giant cube. All right, there we go. Lovely. Let's get rid of you. Okay, did I get all the stuff? Lovely. All right, so let's... Have I got time to check this out? 18 radiant. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Ooh, I like the color, color scheme on it. It looks like awesome. So I think all I haven't found now is maybe a cobalt shield. Um, I don't think I've got one. Okay, I need more keys. Oh, gosh. Anyway, guys, I might get some more keys, loot the other chest. I'll show you if we get anything useful. Otherwise, let's zoom ahead. Oh, my gosh. We found a cobalt shield. I just wanted to show you. Oh, I think it was in, like, one of the last chests I looked at, though. There's, like, I've been through most of the dungeon. This is crazy. And, uh, yeah, like, I my, like, pig is full of loot. But uh, at least we found one. That's the main thing. So now we can get on with our adventure. Okay, people, we've made it to the underworld. We're going to throw some buffs on. And thankfully, I found some water walking potions, which is kind of nice. So I can just stand on the lava because I am still incapable of, um, yeah, get, making any, um, what are they called? The lava potions because I'm going to need to get into the uh, lava to mine up the hellstone ore. But I thought what we could start with is just having a quick look a quick smash through the underworld and just like opening any shadow chest we can find uh, because yeah there's a really good weapon uh, apparently we can get from here I think it's called omen or something uh, so yeah I definitely want to see if we can get our hands on that uh, but we just need to smash our way through okay oh there's a shadow chest beautiful beautiful and even if we don't find it there's still like nice buff potions I think you can get like um what can you find I think you can find life force even in pre hard mode uh, which is pretty sweet indeed. So let's just open that. Beautiful. But yeah, we've almost got our super scythe as well. All I need is a little bit of hellstone ore. And we can probably do it. I could try and risk uh, farming a bit, I guess. Although I'll probably die in the process. So I don't know. Ooh, I'll, have a, I'll have a think about it while we're doing a quick bit of looting here. But uh, yeah, so let's just have a little look. No, I don't think there's any shadow chest. No. Uh, I probably... Oh, I need to get a hellforge, of course. Oh, I always forget, like, little things. All right, there we go. Beautiful. I can probably just... Oh, uh, I need to be careful about vein mining this, though. Because if I vein mine too much... Is that... Am I... Do I need to add that? Okay. I might let lava in. If I, yeah, I'm letting lava in. Oh, gosh. Be careful, Happy. Be careful. You don't want to melt yourself. Oh, here we go. All right. Up here. Oh, there's a shadow chest. Okay. 
Is this the one with what we need? Let's open it up and Dark Lance. Okay, not exactly, but we'll still take it. I need plenty of loot for reforging. Actually, I think I saw in hard mode, I think demons drop something that might give us some extra damage as well. It's an accessory. So yeah, there's a lot to learn, but we can definitely find some stuff. Can I sell? I don't know if you can sell Hellforgers, but uh, that is fine. All right, let's get back up here. Beautiful. Oh gosh. Do you guys normally loot the uh, shadow chest when you're playing, uh, doing a playthrough? I don't know. I feel like it's pretty worth doing just for the potions and the loot, but uh, I don't know. It does take a little while to do it. And <gasps> lights. Oh, is that the one I was thinking of? Okay. What did I call it? Omen or something? 52 damage. Holy moly. This thing's crazy. All right. Let's just quick pig montage people. All right. Let's just put some platforms down. We need to fill up the pig. There we go. Oh my gosh. I should try and get a floating piggy bank from the uh, Blood Moon. And I think I need to farm a bit more anyway. Oh no, I put the new weapon away. Happy, what are you doing? Where is it? Okay, let's put it up here. So what's it actually do? Okay, uh, let's open this up. Beautiful. Is it like homing? Uh, is it like... Okay, it just, it just does a lot of damage, I think. <laughs> Ooh, okay, there we go. Did it... Okay, so it's like a... Whoa, 130 damage. That is crazy. At first, I was like, that's a bit underwhelming, but I think this might be pretty powerful. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh, guys, check it out. I didn't notice it while we were in the jungle, a uh, jungle, in the dungeon. I actually got a mount and it looks like it's based off the summon tiger star thing, but it's kind of cute and it runs pretty fast. So that is a pretty useful thing. I didn't actually have a mount yet. So also I noticed with our light's lament, uh, what it actually does is it inflicts a debuff in called in feeble. And what it does is it increases all of your radiant damage by 10, which is absolutely massive at this stage of the game. And you can see uh, I'm getting some nice numbers out there. So that is very cool indeed. Now, I just want to show you quickly. I've got the next armor set, but I'm not going to be using it. So normally I would have crafted it now. Um, I just want to equip it and show you quickly. If you look at my defense and damage here, 2438. And then if I put my iridescent set back on, I'm 2646. So, like the mage armors, some of them are focused, some of the healer sets are more for healing and ally uh, support. And this next upgrade is actually making me weaker, so I'm not going to be using it, but I did just want to show it to you quickly. So, I'll take off my vanity, and you can see it's kind of cool, it's like a Templar knight sort of thing. It's very awesome, but it's not uh, quite what I'm after. Because I'm solo, I need all the damage I can get my hands on. So, what we are going to do though, is we can make a weapon called Templar's Judgment, uh, which is a new flail sort of thing. It looks pretty sweet. And of course, Slime Rain would start now, because why wouldn't it? Oh, gosh. Uh, also, I want to make a Obsidian Skull in case I go... Hang on, where's the Obsidian Skull? Can I make one? Furnace. Uh, do I need to be closer over here? Yep. I want an Obsidian Skull in case I do that. And then the other thing I need to do is make our Hellstone Bars. Hang on, I need to be near the furnace again. Oh gosh, I need to move my furnace over. So let's make a ton of these. Beautiful. Uh, because we can finally make our last scythe, guys. Oh, I can make the omen too. This is this thing I was carrying on about before. Uh, let's also make our scythe while we're here. Beautiful. And in fact, we can test it out on some slimies. Whoa! Oh my gosh, this thing is incredible. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Holy moly, it doesn't even use much mana. This thing is a beast. Holy wow. This is crazy. Whoa, I love that. And then we've got our last scythe. So now what I can do is actually make our blood harvest at a crimson altar. So that is very nice indeed. So very cool. I think that's all the crafting. Then I can just make some more dark steel if I need to. Oh, there was actually another weapon. Uh, Spirit blast wand. Uh, I use some of my water candles. Uh, so we have yet another weapon. Uh, so let's see. Is, what's it do? Charges up a barrage. So you need to charge it. Whoa! Oh my gosh, we got another good weapon. So this one actually fires piercing. Whoa, guys. This is crazy. Look at that. 
That is so good. That's going to be awesome against Wall of Flesh. So I can go Light's Lament, and that does some nice... Oh my gosh. We have got the best weapons at the moment. This is crazy. So I think we need to try this out against a boss. So I'll, I'll smack some slimes and maybe we can beat King Slime. Let's go. Oh, hello. Is that a little King Slime ready to get absolutely destroyed? Okay, we like that. So let's use our Light's Lament and try out our new weapons. So yeah, piercing damage. Absolutely awesome. I can probably set it on fire. Yeah, check it out. So this new scythe sets it on fire. Actually, I wonder if this super scythe does all the debuffs. That would be amazing. Let's try our flail against it. Does this also pierce? Uh, I don't... It pierces, but I don't think it multi-hits. Oh, it's getting a few extra hits in. That's kind of cool. All right, we like that. But uh, yeah, this Light's Lament is like the first, like the best starter weapon. All right, let's try our charge shot. Okay, this one, this one you seem to need to like wind up a bit. Uh, okay, so we just charge it up. Yeah, check it out. That is awesome. So, oh my gosh, we're destroying things. This is so good. Although this is an earlier boss. All right, there we go. Finish it off. Sorry, King Slime. He didn't stand a chance. Oh gosh. There we go. And we got the, is that the nerdy slime? I think it is. All right, let's just finish these off. Beautiful. As the sun is starting to set. Oh, we got a little slime pet. We got another relic. Let's put that down. Beautiful. And let's open our treasure bag. Three, two, one, boom. Oh, wow. Hidden blade. What's, what does it do? I've never used these. This is the thrower class. <gasps> wow. This is so awesome. Oh, my gosh. There is, like, all these class stuff. Uh, wow. That's kind of cool. And that's why I haven't fought every boss. I just wanted to talk about this quickly. I haven't fought some of the bosses that don't have healer stuff. And I thought if we ever do the other classes, I can focus more on the bosses that have stuff for it. Does that make sense? I hope so. Uh, that makes each playthrough a bit fresh and interesting, which I thought would be a good idea. But uh, anyway, I think we're almost ready for Wall of Flesh. So let me know. I need to max my life. I need one more life crystal. Uh, let me know if there's any other armor, weapon, accessories. I think I've got some good stuff here, though. Uh, any weapons I need to get? I'm going to, like, need some reforging. But uh, I think uh, Wall of Flesh is going to be an interesting fight. I think we're in a good position here, guys. I'm pretty confident. So I hope you've enjoyed all of our uploads. Smash a like button if you've been enjoying them. I'm probably going to have a day off now. Uh, but I will do a community post. I want to talk to you guys about content for next month. Uh, what sort of videos you want. Uh, make sure you subscribed if you haven't yet. And uh, here's the most important part as always. You'll stay happy and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days signing out. See ya.